Our guest tonight, legendary rapper and producer of the star's hit show, Power, 50 Cent is here, everybody. <laughs> and I am so glad we could get 50 tonight, because last night, Senate Republicans definitely could not. <laughs> Overnight, the Republican plan to replace Obamacare officially falling short, with two more GOP senators unexpectedly pulling their support. For seven years, Republican lawmakers have vowed to overturn Obamacare, but this morning, their latest plan has come to a screeching halt. No! <laughs> Trump cares no more! Now I have no idea how I'm gonna die. How? <laughs> I don't know why we're surprised, people. Let's be honest, we all knew the words Trump and care were never destined to be together. <laughs> Just ask Eric. So, last night, <laughs> the Senate plan officially collapsed. And luckily for Republicans, they had parliamentary genius and foreskin impersonator Mitch McConnell <laughs> in their corner. The Senate's plan B for Trump care seems dead. And plan C had barely been introduced before it was slain as well. GOP senators balking at Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's proposal to ditch a replacement for Obamacare and instead just going to outright repeal without a replacement. At least three Republican senators say they will not support that option. Ooh, all the Senate ladies, all the Senate ladies <laughs> hold the plan up, but no, 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 no. Yeah! <laughs> Republicans have been saying forever that Obamacare is going to fail. It's in a death spiral. But after years of them trying to kill it, it is somehow the only thing that's still around. <laughs> All of their healthcare plans collapse immediately. They're like, Obamacare is dead. Check out our plan. Oh my God, plan? <laughs> wake up, plan, wake up. Oh no, our plan won't wake up. Is there an Obamacare in the house? <laughs> If you're, in a public, if you're a Republican, like today sucked balls, you have to admit. Uh, it, actually, it actually all reminds me of something a wise man once said. Nobody knew that healthcare could be so complicated. <laughs> From the mouth of babes. <laughs> but the president was at least partly right, because it's true, no one knew how complicated healthcare could be once Donald Trump got involved. <laughs> because, because I don't know if you remember, but before he stepped in, Republicans had a strategy for destroying Obamacare. A new strategy is gaining steam on Capitol Hill that would quickly repeal most of President Obama's Affordable Care Act, but delay the effects for up to two years. Yeah, that was the original plan. They would take it apart, but slowly over time. Their plan was basically to treat healthcare like Jenga. Gradually dismantle it piece by piece, so when it finally collapsed, it would have been someone else's problem. And then Donald Trump came along and he's like, oh boy, Jenga bowling! <laughs> Under the prodding of President Trump, Republicans decided not to just repeal and worry about replace later, but try to do it in one bucket. It'll be repeal and replace. It will be essentially simultaneously. It will be various segments, you understand, but will most likely be on the same day or the same week, but probably the same day, could be the same hour. So we're gonna do repeal and replace. In fact, it's happening right now. <laughs> it just happened, it just happened. You, you, to understand this, just think of it like this. Donald Trump is basically an unlikable baby Groot, right? <laughs> Republicans were like, all right, Donald, here's the plan. Repeal, no replace. He was like, replace. No, 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 Donald. No, no, no. No replace. Repeal. Replace. No, you're not listening. Repeal. Repeal. And replace. Oh! There's a clear reason that the Republicans just suffered today's failure, and that reason lives in the White House. To add insult to injury, while the GOP's healthcare dreams were crumbling, Trump wasn't even helping. He was hosting a play-play party at the White House celebrating something called Made in America Week, where the president basically checked out guitars, wrestled with baseball bats, and of course, his favorite activity, fake driving a truck. Where's the fire? Put it out fast. Yeah, and everyone's like, the fire's behind you in the White House. <laughs> It felt, you know what it felt? It felt like the whole event was designed to convince Donald Trump to take up any other job. What about baseball? No, no, you don't want? 
You want to be a fireman? Anything, man. We'll give you anything. I mean, at one point, he even got an applause just for putting on a hat. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I told you he'd get something right eventually. Yeah! And that's where we are. And that's how the Republican health care plan came and went, with them failing to get their votes and the president playing pretend in the White House. So the truth is, for the Republicans, it's not looking good. It's July. Their health care plan is officially dead. They have no infrastructure bill, and they're months behind on tax reform. At some point, they have to admit that their world is burning down. Fortunately for the Republicans, they have a fireman on their team. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks, the lines, and the cheeks. <laughs>